All right, you guys, let's go ahead and talk about how much it costs to big turbo one of these or build one. Um, first off, I'm gonna name some prices and I know what you guys are gonna say. Oh, my cousin's aunt's friend built one for three grand. This is assuming that you have 100% stock neon, you don't have any parts sitting around, you're not getting any deals, you're not shopping around, you're not buying anything new, your best friend doesn't have parts laying around and you don't have parts laying around. Um, another disclaimer, this is also assuming you're doing all the work here too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and kind of break this down by horsepower and um, keep in mind this might differ a little bit. Obviously every setup's a little bit different and you might be able to make a little more, a little less than you know what I'm naming here essentially. As far as like the power increments go and I'll give you kind of a price as far as you know roughly what it will cost to get to that power range. So starting off here with the um, 330 to 350-ish horsepower range, you're obviously going to need a turbo kit. AGP, Modern Performance, um, you know, there's a handful of other sites. Kind of depending on what you want, you're looking at about um, 1700 to 2800 bucks. Uh, fuel pump is going to be $100. You're going to need injectors, four or 500 If you don't have a tuner, uh, you're going to need a tuner. That's probably about 300 to 380 You're going to need a, um, well, you're going to need someone to tune it, I guess. Uh, so that's going to be three to 400 You'll probably want a blow off valve, 150 to 300 You want a larger intake, uh, that's going to be about 200 Three bar map sensor, 300 380 and you know, depending on how much boost you run, you might not need that, but you know, you're probably going to need that, especially if you plan on building it further than after that, or further than you know, 350 uh, horsepower range. You'll need a air fuel ratio gauge. Uh, that's probably going to be about 175 bucks, and then you will need a boost controller, um, you know, manual, uh, manual or electronic. That's probably going to be about um, you know, 120 bucks. So yeah, about 120 bucks for a uh, fuel. Um, so and then, and then you also need a boost gauge, which will be pretty close to about 120 bucks or so. Um, that's going to put you in that uh, $3,445 range to $5,335. Now, once you start going above that, if you want to make you know close to 380, um, you know let's say three, you know, four, let's say 400 horsepower. Um, once you start to get there, you definitely need a clutch. Clutch only holds up um, stock, you know. 320-ish, 350 horsepower. If you're driving it conservatively, I know people have uh, ran stock clutches with upper 300s, but if you're going to be launched and stuff, it's just not going to hold up. Uh, hold up. And first, I'd rather spend a little extra money on a clutch than be stranded. But that's 450, 800 bucks. Definitely want a front mount, a larger front mount intercooler. That's about 350 to 550. You'll definitely want a three-inch exhaust. That's going to be about uh, 540 to 800. Uh, that's depending, you know, 540 being a side exit, and then 800 being a full uh, full-length exhaust. You probably want solid motor mounts. Um, that's about 225 bucks. Um, you might get be able to get away with those little um, polyurethane bushings that they stick in there, but. If you're going to be launching it, once again, you want the solid motor mounts. Uh, catch can can be 100 bucks or so. Uh, you'll probably want meth injection, especially once you start to get up to you know higher 300s, especially on pump gas. Uh, that's about $400, and then you're going to need uh, well, you don't need it, but a lot of people want to you know stage two, stage three cams. Uh, you need retainers and springs. That's going to be in the $700 range. Um, so you're looking at that point at about $6,210 to $8,910. 
Now, obviously, you could spend much more than that. You could build the engine. Um, you know, you could redo heads. You could port heads. You know, so, or uh, you could redo uh, pistons, crank. You know, you name it. Larger oil pump. I mean, kind of whatever you want to do. But the sky's the limit essentially at that point because I mean, if you want to make over 500 horsepower, you know this video isn't for you because I mean it's just how much money do you have to, to play you know at that point okay so that's kind of the cost of you know big turboing one of these or building one of these I just thought I'd make this video because a lot of people think you know you could do it for three to five grand which you definitely can if you you know already have some parts laying around if your neon's already you know partially built which is actually pretty hard to find a stock one these days so it's very likely um, or if you look for sales this is assuming you didn't look for any kind of sales or anything either or, you know you don't know a buddy that would hook you up with a with a cheap deal but uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment. Um, you know, let me know what I could improve on in the next video. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm just good at caring too much. Yeah.